So the um, question, God is the love in which um, I forgive or any course lesson, um, how is that the same as dropping the thoughts? Um, basically, um, when you when you say, well, the practices I teach, which are self-inquiry or the observer, or I sometimes say just drop the thoughts, um, how that's different. Well, you see, the Course in Miracles is assuming it's 365 lessons which transition you gently from being in your ego to being in um, to being in the holiness, to being in the oneness or the beingness or the infinite silence, whatever you want to call it, the holy instant. So it's taking into, it's really geared for students who are not yet completely there and just are, let's shall we say, stable in infinite silence, but still have some identification that maybe they are a body or they are their thinking. So it's it talks to you, in some of the lessons, it talks to you very much as if you really are a thinking body and some of the lessons are more like affirming, taking that you're more advanced and affirming more the truth, that you're not that, and you're far beyond uh, the thought. So an example would be God is a love in which I forgive my body. Well, that's, to, you know, it's almost like it's taking that one, it's quite a dualistic level um, lesson, which means that it assumes very much as if your body and thoughts are real, and you need to take an action from that place and say, God is a love in which I forgive my body. So, uh, and then some, sometimes it might say something like, uh, I am spirit, you know, I am beyond the body and the thoughts, in, I am the infinite. So it's affirming that you're, you've, you've gone past that. There's more like an affirmation that you are that infinite place, rather than um, giving you an instruction that you really are the body and thoughts needing to do something to forgive uh, your identification with your body and thoughts. So... Sometimes, um, so at a certain level, uh, once whatever the practice is done is done enough, uh, there seems to be almost like a uh, a stableness of the infinite presence. And so it seems like thoughts don't have to be dropped, like there's nobody dropping thoughts, and there's no one identified with the body or thoughts or feelings that pass by. And so the, the place, there is nothing to do, because the idea that there is a person there uh, a, th a thinking entity body there that needs to do anything to rest in peace the, that doesn't exist any longer so you be it's, it's beyond what we'd call the dualistic realm or the separated state uh, so one is in is in the infinite place um, and then otherwise if to what extent um, you could say like if there's he heavy duality heavy identification then sometimes it makes they, they resonate more they're very dualistic lessons like me in my thinking and my body, I forgive my neighbor, uh, who's also a real body, a real thinking entity. So it's, it's very dualistic, and that seems to make more sense. And then sometimes it's just stating that you are beyond all of that, and none of that is real. So, um, so it just depends, you know, as to um, how it's different. I mean, each lesson is different in that it takes into account, maybe you're at a different stage or talking to a different aspect of dissolving some aspect of ego that you're holding on to. Okay, I'm just going to press start.